Stephen here from Inexterious Painters and Decorators and you're watching Inexterious TV. In this video we're going to prepare and paint walls after wallpaper removal. If you would like to purchase some of the similar tools that are used for this task please feel free to check out the links in the description below and also if you're planning on doing any other decorating works please feel free to visit my tool store the links are also in the description below so with that said let's do this this is the wall that we're going to be preparing and painting and as you can see the wallpaper has already been removed if you would like to know how I strip the wallpaper there will be a video that pops up at the end of this video on an end screen right the wall's been left to dry overnight so what we need to do now it's dry is give it a good sand down and make sure we can't sink um, anything that's protruding and what I'm using to sand these walls down is some 80 grit sandpaper if I was sanding the um, lime plaster sort of stuff I would use a 60 grit sandpaper it is important that we um, sort of unscrew the sockets and make sure there's no paper around the socket so we need to make sure around the socket area is well prepped please be careful when you're doing this if you're not confident enough to unscrew it just leave it screwed up and then sort of cut round it with a standing knife and sand it and do it that way to be fair apart from where this dado rail has been removed the walls are actually in really good condition so I'm just going along with my multi-tool scraper in these bits and just making sure there's no loose bits of plaster where this dado rail was pulled off. What I'm doing now is just giving it a good dust off um, ready for filling and what I'm going to be using for the filler is Jiprock Easy Fill 60. Here's a close up of some of the areas that we're going to be filling and these are some of the situations you might come across as well on your wall. Remember when you're filling fill cleanly because then it's easier to sand or you don't have as much to sand these walls are going to have two fills so basically they'll be getting a fill a sand coat of paint another fill and then two coats but sometimes you might have to give your wall three fills in areas as well once your fillers dry it's ready for a sand, a dust off, and then we're ready to give this wall a, a base coat. It wouldn't have hurt to give the uh, wall a wipe down as well with a damp cloth, but I totally forgot. But there was no harm done in the end. I like to give my walls a coat of white paint especially after they've been um, stripped because it just helps even out any of the blemishes and it just sort of highlights any other areas that might need filling before you start putting your two coats of colour on also I want to say perfection doesn't exist um, nothing's 100% so I take progress over perfection any day of the week.
Once your base coat or prep coat's dry, you're ready to give it its second fill. And again, remember to fill cleanly because when you fill clean, there's less sanding down to do and it makes it a lot easier. Right again, once the second fill's dry, you're ready to give it a sand down, dust off, then it's ready for its first coat of colour. And this is what it looks like after it's had its second coat and it's all finished. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.